stop. Do not try this at home. We're what you call experts. We do this for a living. So guys, we are doing an Ego battery durability test. That was the first tech. So if you guys have an Ego tool or you're a gas user, you want to switch to battery, Ego specifically, but you don't, you're not too sure about like the durability of their stuff. Their batteries will last. They're like, can like withstand dropping on the ground. Uh, that, like, if that's just what's like keeping you back from switching to battery. We're going to be answering all these questions in the video. Showing you guys how durable, just how durable these batteries are. We have been testing this a little bit. That's why there's all these gashes in it. But other than that, there's not too much damage. So the first one is at charger height. But you know, first, your charger is ideally going to be on a shelf, like right around this height. So we're going to come over here. You got your charger, you. right? You, drop, you accidentally miss the charger and you drop it like that. As you can see, the battery is perfectly fine. So no just mark. a clarification, guys. This battery is defective. We call it's out of the warranty. We already called Ego about it. They said we have to buy a new one, basically. So there's nothing we can do about it. Because they so, didn't answer the phone. So we basically are just gonna smash it and then <laughs> see see the durability on it. See so. what it takes to break this piece. Yeah. So, anyways, let's get started. So you're about to put your battery on the charger, and you know you have it on your shelf. Oh. oh. Charger, but that's not that's not oh my god. Um, this <laughs> that's is our brand new at. charger. There's no damage. You're about to weep. You're you just finished weep back in your yard and you gotta switch the battery out. Oh no, you dropped it in the sand. Not in the sandbox. Oh no. Well, it's still fine. You just brush off the sand and it works like a charm. Wait, does this still run my tool? That is defective. <laughs> but does this one still run my tool? We thought it was defective, but apparently it's not. <laughs> apparently it's only half defective. Yeah. All right, guys, on to level three. All right, guys, so level three, you're playing catch with your pops, but you don't got any more balls. <laughs> you lost them all in the woods. You're going to use your dang ego battery instead. Catch, pop, catch. <laughs> oh, oh, ow. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, let's go and check this baby out. Good as new. Except there's a little bit sticker peeling here. You can take that off in a jiffy. We're all good. No nicks or scratches or tits. <laughs> on to level four. You're just gonna do this one. Right. So you're head trimming this grass. It's about neck height. And you, you have a you're swapping out the battery. All right, now I'm gonna make my head trimming here. Oh. oh no, you drop it right on that rock. Not the rock. <laughs> So, but it is still fine. Let's plug it in and see if it runs. This one is slightly defective, so it may or may not run. Oh, it barely goes in. It still runs. Still? Next level is level five. Still, oh no, you're pressure, or you're um, using, you're using your leaf blower on your roof, and what do you know? It falls in the oh. water. <laughs> oh, that sucks. That's so gross. But uh, the lights on. As you guys know, Ego has some quality tools, so we're going to test it out. We're tagging Ego on this. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys, so Trevor's going to do the tool test. So this is after the root. The root, which was level 5. Take out one of our many batteries. We wait to see what level 10 is. Yeah, guys, wait and see what level 10 is. If this battery isn't destroyed by then, we're opening, cracking it open for you guys. First, like a charm. It works, even though it's even soaked, soaked in the mosquitoes. mosquitoes. <laughs> Pops again. But you don't have a ball because you all, they all. Pick up game in the park. They all pop. So we're playing pick up game. Ready? Record, record. Oh. You know, you're getting tapped on the wound. Oh no. Oh no. We kind of got evicted, so now oh, no. we're on to location number two. <laughs> now you have to go and get that smart. Not to mention the scenario if your ego wants a bath you got to give it a oh my <laughs> if your ego wants a bath you have to give it a bath honestly like gotta be good to your ego also guys this has like a hole in it so it's like it basically just busted 
Nothing about that battery. <laughs> All right, guys. <clears throat> say your star quarterback, Tom Brady, and you were throwing a Super Bowl winning game pass. Right to your wide receiver. And so. <clears throat> what? He takes the snap. Oh, he throws it. Oh, it's a beautiful. Oh, oh he picks it up. Oh. Oh, he dodges. Oh, shoot. And he spikes it. Oh, man. Let's see if it's all right, guys. So, I know we're going to get grilled in the car. I know we're going to get grilled for this, but we're really just showing how good he is. Next one, it's going to be a little fun for me, guys. So, yeah. Was there any uh, damage? Uh, I don't hope so. Okay, so I'm going to pop myself up in that tree, and we're going to have some fun. Your mom's out here. Guys, so in this scenario, this is scenario nine, I think, or eight. Um, we'll have it on screen. You are chains you are using a chainsaw, an ego chainsaw up in the tree, doing some tree work, and the, you switch the battery, and then it accidentally falls out of the tree. Let Trevor, let's see what happens. Alright guys, let's check out the damage. Holy guys. This thing is pretty freaked up. You want to do one more right on the pavement? Oh! oh. That is a probably 25 foot flush drop. And no signs of a physical damage at all whatsoever. Except for these cracks. Which... One, more. one more for good luck. Let's do it. As hard as you can. We we'll just keep throwing this until it breaks. <laughs> We gotta keep it in the Hall of Fame. All right, let's go. Am I clear? Clear. Oh my, no. How is there no damage back there? Oh. All right, I think we should take it down and put it in your garage in the Wall of Fame. Do we have a lot of damage? Just that crack that we had before. How? I don't, oh no, we do. The whole front is coming off. Holy crap! If it comes off. <laughs> if you want. Shall we? Yeah. Alright. Oh, shit. Oh, that was like a pain. pinball machines. Alright, guys. Clear. <coughs> How did it not break? Alright, come down. Alright, guys. So, say you want to go snow tubing with the car, or you want to go snow tubing behind a car. We don't have a car, you don't have a tube, and it's not the winter time and there's no snow. So, you work with what you've got. This is a one-way street. Right. So, oh, it's right. Pick up some, pick up the pace. After all of that abuse, the battery still works. It's literally popping out of its socket. Well, it doesn't exactly work because you can only run for five seconds before it says it, it's effective. But that's how it was before. That's how it was before. So virtually, nothing was done except for these scratches. All this crap. And here's the last one. Just for ha-has. All right, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I know most of you probably got, guys probably did it. But... Again, don't try this at home. We're professionals. We do this for a living. And shout out to Ego for making these amazingly strong batteries. Oh, yeah, guys. So, remember, stay fired, stay cool. Stay stupid like us. Do stupid things with your life. Uh, and yeah. Like the clip that we will throw in at the end of me having to cut myself out of the tree because I was tangled. Yep. All right, guys. See you next video. Bye. That was so, so guys, this is an emergency right now. I'm currently I'll try to shield your fall. So, I had... To reach for oh the wait! Gotta... Ready? Yeah. Wish you luck. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Ah. Did that hurt at all? No. Oh my god! Now we're just gonna leave that rope up there.